Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient channel. Today is October 12, 2018. This is going to be my outing number 145 of this year. Oh, you guys may have heard about this already, but truth be told, I'm down here in Florida. I'm going to stay down here in Florida for five days. And folks, we're going to do a little species slam. So I'm pretty tired already, even though it's just the first day, believe me. I, I only slept about two hours yesterday to today. So you guys can imagine, right? This is going to be the grind, okay? I'm going to be fishing mornings, afternoons, evenings, you name it. I'm going to be fishing salt water, fresh water, the pier, the inlet, the surf, the canals, right? Etc. All with one objective in mind. How many species of fish will EPF be able to catch in a five-day period down here in Florida? So let's make this a little bit more interactive before I get the fishing started for today. Can't wait, by the way, it is looking beautiful down here. I'm gonna put a poll in this video. Make sure you participate and you vote. Try to guess how many species of fish will I catch total, okay? In these five days of fishing that I'm going to do down here. Anyways, today I'm here in one of the inlets, in Hillsboro Inlet. I've been here one time before and last time I came, there were a few species of fish that I really wanted to catch and I didn't have an opportunity, right? Of course, the main goal of the series is to catch as many different species of fish as possible, but I also want to catch some new species for my list, right? I am currently at 205, so I decided to give this inlet one more go. The mullet run is happening full effect right now folks and i mean there are a bunch of species right around here oh and by the way we are already at the count of one i would like to emphasize because last night i went to the intracoastal waterway and i found the mangrove snapper nursery okay so i caught a bunch of them last night let's start today's adventure at the count of one all right now let me get my setup set up here and let's get the fishing started No small fish whatsoever. Oh, there's a hit right here. Come on, man. All we need is a small fish. Yeah, get it. Get it, boy. Man, this is supposed to be small. What is this? Can I use this as bait? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> All I wanted was a small fish so that I could use it as bait, but I can't use a mangrove snapper as bait. This is our first Florida fish, a mangrove snapper, the Lut Janus Griseus. I have to release this one. I want a live line for some bigger species, but this one here definitely cannot live line it. By law, oh, it's trying to get me. Look at that. Ooh, by law, it has to be a minimum size for this fish. So I have to put it back. I'm sure that you guys can see it, but there's a bunch of fish right in front of me over here. Now the mullet run, like I said, is going on, right? I don't know what these are, but there are a few fish mixed in it that I really, really want to catch. Now the fact that I don't know what these fish are is good because if I knew, see what are these, right? If I knew, I would have had that species already. My goal right now is to try to catch these fish. What is that? Something is nibbling at it. Got him. What was that? Oh, it's a little jack? No way. What? Our first fish of the day and second species of this fishing trip is actually a Crevel jack that apparently has been badly damaged too. Look at this. Holy moly, man. This fish has got a nasty injury here on the side. A little Crevel Jack, huh? the Carunx Hippos. This is actually pretty cool because I don't really get to catch these guys very often. 
although like I said this one has a really nasty injury on the side let me release it over here that one can go back and hopefully doesn't die on us you know yeah I think there's a puffer I don't want the puffer no no puffer oh my goodness the puffer came all the top to get it look at that the little puffer look 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 at the puffer oh my good look 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 came all the way to the top I almost hooked it this is crazy come on puffer Oh, look, 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 puffer coming on top. Oh, took my shrimp. No, now I have to catch it. All right, there we go. Third species of the trip. Finally got a little checker puffer. Oh, easy, 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 boy, easy. They are not that easy to handle. We got here the Sphoeroides testudineus. You know, I'm just trying to catch whatever is in front of me. I'll just have to catch another one for a shot. But yeah, I'm trying to get the easy ones out of the way first so that I can move to the other species. Got one. All right, just for a photo. I just need a photo of you, okay? I just call your, your daddy. I just call your daddy, okay? Relax. I just want a photo with you. I just want a photo with you. Check this out, huh, guys? This time, I actually brought with me my photo tank. Look at that, huh? I think this is gonna be a great addition to the Florida videos this time because you guys will actually get to see a few saltwater species of fish, right, inside the tank, which I have to say, this checker puffer right here is extremely beautiful, all right? This Sphoeroides. Testudineus. I have caught three species of puffers down in Florida so far. This is only one of them. The other one is the southern puffer, the Sphoeroides nephilus. And then there's another one that is very small and actually very expensive in the aquarium trade. It's called the Bantail puffer, the Sphoeroides spengleti. Hopefully we're going to catch those during this trip as well, but check it out. Huh? Final view of our checker puffer right here before I put it back in the water. Definitely a very, very beautiful sample right here. All right, I think our little fella has been terrified enough of the Asian folk. He's looking very, very confused. Like, what is going on here? Is he going to eat me? I am not fugu, all right? Yeah, don't worry, man. I know you're not fugu. You're good to go, all right, little fella? Yeah, look at that, huh? That's the props of having a photo tank. The fish never dies on you. Got one. Got one right here. Nice one too. Oh, it's a mangrove. That's what's going on. Wow, the mangrove snapper. Whole shrimp whole shrimp just couldn't resist the whole shrimp i mean it's not big big there are some bigger fish down there but yeah you know a snapper is a snapper i'll take it i ain't gonna take photos of this one because i already have it so oh you know what yeah let's take a few shots well why not right oh wants to get me final view of our mangrove snapper definitely don't want these guys to chew on your finger because, you know, they will bite you real bad. Finally got one, finally got one. Yes, yes. I just wanted to catch a damn pinfish to live line it. This is a spot tail, looks like a spot tail pinfish. Well, there's a huge discussion in the community between spot tail pinfish and silver porgy. I ain't gonna discuss it. <laughs> as far as I know, this is a spot tail pinfish. All right, so this is a species number four for today. Take a good look at it because this is spot tail pinfish is gonna be bait real soon, okay? I'm going to live line it. This is one of those species in Florida that is it is absolutely legal 
to live line so I'm just gonna live line it to try to get something a little bit bigger I keep seeing bigger fish around the area so hopefully this guy is going to provide unbelievable these fish are all keyed in on the mullet they're not biting anything else well I tell you what poor spot tail pinfish is gonna be cut bait them There's one fish down here that I definitely don't have, and I don't know what it is. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. What is this? This is the thing that I don't have. Oh, I have this already. Oh, man, I really thought I didn't have this because it's one so beautifully under the water. It's a black margate. Ay, 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 I have this already on my species list. Well, it is another species for a Florida slam, but yeah, it's just a small margate, black margate, the tiniest one I have ever caught. Now, I would like to emphasize that it is the first time that I have seen a black margate this small. I've caught bigger before. When I saw it swimming down there, I really had no idea what it was, you know? I thought, man, let's just catch it. Maybe it is a new type of sea robbing or something. Turned out to be a juvenile black margate. Anyways, you know, it is another species for our Florida's lamb, but definitely not what we're looking for. It's still a 205. Hopefully, we're gonna catch some new species today. All right, let me release this guy over here. The species hunt is going pretty well today, but I think it is about time for us to break out the Sabiki rig, which is a wonderful rig to catch multiple different species of fish, especially when it comes to micro species. As a matter of fact, some species of fish only bite on the Sabiki rig, believe it or not. So I gotta tie this on and hopefully we're gonna land some new species in this video. This is what I actually like about the Casking Centron, to tell the truth. It is a very, very versatile reel. And I'm telling you, I use this in fresh water, salt water, you know. I use lures on this. I use live bait. And now we're going to use the Sabiki rig on the Centron 4000. I got my Perigee 2 over here. I brought two medium heavy rods down to florida and one ultralight that i haven't really used yet i'm going to use for micro fishing oh man let's hope we catch something new oh yeah there we go perfect that's what we need this is what i need little little mullet right here candy for the fish all right i'm sorry that i have to treat you this way mullet but you are so good of a bait you know why is it so hard eat it eat it eat it eat it eat it eat it yes yes eat it you can do it oh i got him i got him i got him I think this is a new species for me. I think this is a new species. If this is not a houndfish, I don't have it yet. This is probably an Atlantic needlefish. Oh, son. Is this an Atlantic needlefish or a houndfish? He, man, I don't know. This is very, very weird. Is this a juvenile houndfish? Atlantic needlefish. Well, it's a new species for the Florida trip for sure, but the rest I'll have to identify it. All right, folks, this one is a little bit tricky because I really don't know if this is a houndfish or an Atlantic needlefish, but whatever it is, it is another species for our Florida trip. E little guy just went down there. Whew. My mullet is still out there. 
no signs of predatory species on it. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got it, he got it. Yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. You can do it, you can do it. Yes, you did it, you did it. Now I need to know if this dude has a dot on the dorsal fin or not. If this dude has a dot on the dorsal fin, chances are it's an Atlantic needle fish. If this dude does not have a dot on the dorsal, chances are it's a juvenile hound fish. I hate handling these guys, but you know what? For the sake of identification, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, okay. Oh, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I gotcha, son. I gotcha. Now, dorsal fin. Where's this fella's dorsal fin? Oh, oh, stop biting me. Oh! Dude, this dude does not have a dot on the dorsal fin. Oh, stop biting on me. Stop, bi stop biting on me, man. Take it easy, I will release you. I just need to uh, take this out of her mouth, yeah? My goodness, let's see, is this really sharp? Oh man, it's like needles. It's like needles, I am messing with these fish. I think this is a hound fish. I don't think this is a, I don't think this is an Atlantic needle fish. I believe this is a hound fish, although I am not entirely sure. I'll identify all of them later. The mouth of these guys, I have to say, is pretty gnarly. It's pretty gnarly. It's trying to get me. Look at that. Jeez, Luis. Dinosaurs, man. Okay, please, go back. Little dinosaur. I think the smaller ones are the needle fish that I need. There it is. There it is. There it is. Get the shrimp, son. Get a shrimp, son. Yes, get a shrimp. It's good shrimp. Damn, dude, you can't get the you can't get the shrimp. Let me help you a bit. It's okay. I help you get the shrimp. I help you get the shrimp right here. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp, son! Shrimp! 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 Got this craw fish. Side fishing for scraw craw fish. Oh my goodness, this one's so skinny. What is going on with this one here? There we go. The Acantostracion quadricornis. Can't have a Spanish name more Spanish than this, right? Quadricornis, right? Got two horns in the front. Oh, sorry about that. Two horns in the front and two horns at the back. People say that handling this fish for an extended period of time is really no good for you, that the skin actually releases toxins. So I just gotta take a shot and release this dude. Although I have to say, this one right here is very stunted for some reason. I don't know why. All right, let's unhook this fella before I get red tied from this dude. I mean, these guys are usually the guys who are down there, you know, eating all the algae that can be poisonous, right? Don't even talk about red tide. Ciguatera poisoning, these guys right here is like number one. So I don't want to handle it for too long. Let's release it over here. See, it can go out on that side, all right? Let's release this guy over here. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. This is a beautiful species right here, okay? It will be able to go out. Don't worry, guys. It can easily go out through the rack cracks of the rocks into the sea, okay? I just release it over here because I don't want to catch it again. There's one. There's one. What is this? These are the guys that I was trying to catch down there. Super, super hard to catch. No, 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 no. Super, super hard to catch. They've been down there. No! Ah! All right, let's catch another one. What is this? Oh, it's a jack. 
the bait didn't even sink to the bottom for us to catch one of those fish. And then the jack came up and bang, nailed it. Little Jack Creval. I wish this jack was like 20 times bigger. Full of energy, look at that, ooh. But sadly, it is not 20 times bigger. So we'll have to be, to be happy with this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's saying, Asian, please let me go. I thought it was just food. Hooked on the top of the mouth, not that bad. Oh, easy, easy, buddy, easy. We gotta do some surgery on this guy now so he can go back to live his life happy down there. Thankfully, it wasn't hooked on the gill. Rather, it was hooked on the top of the mouth, right? Man, look at that mouth. Yeah, extendable jaw. All right, go back where it belong. Maybe try a little bit over here. Get out of there, please. Not you. I'm getting tired, sick of you. Why is there so many puffers around here? Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Get it, boy, get it, get it, eat it, eat it, boy. Why did he eat it? Was it too big for it? Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. This is what we wanted to catch. What is this? On the side of the mouth. What what type of croaker is this? Is this some kind of croaker? I think this is the striped croaker that I used to catch at nighttime over here. What is this? Wow, this is weird, man. This is real, real weird. I actually don't know what this is. I'm gonna take a shot and we will find out. So there you have it, guys. I am not so sure what this is, to tell you the truth. I believe this is a striped croaker, but I am not 100% on it. So you know what? I just took a few shots and uh, for now, I'm just gonna release it. It is another species for the Florida slam, you know? For now, we just fish, man. I'll take care of the fish identification later. You know what I'm saying? So let me release it over here. He can go back to his friends down there. Very interesting. Uh, it is definitely time to take a little break. Today's fishing session has been going great so far, my friends. As you guys saw, we caught eight different species of fish so far in this Florida slam. But you know what? Oh man, this coconut juice feels godly. But you know what? I have been fishing the whole morning, so I am a little bit tired. I think it is about time for me to take a little break, get something to eat, and then I'm going to come back at this spot, probably throw some lures, uh, start on the micro fishing so that we can up that species count, right? There are still a lot of species over here that I want to catch. Hopefully it is not going to rain in the afternoon, although the weather forecast does say it is going to rain. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I will be back, tight lines, and take it easy. Yeah, I'm still feeling the bites here. Yeah, man, I'm just gonna set the hook. I mean, this mullet is pretty big too. It's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. What is it?